Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, it is my spring decorate with me part two. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. If you have not caught part one of my spring decorate with me, I will make sure to link it here in the cards for you guys. That video touches on my living room space, my sofa back table, the sideboard behind me, as well as my entryway. In today's video, we go straight into my kitchen, decorating my kitchen countertops, my kitchen island, giving it a very quick and simple refresh. And then the second portion of today's video, I actually share with you guys a new bread recipe. We have decided to start baking our own bread. This is a huge influence from my sister who has given me her recipe and has shared her knowledge in making bread. And honestly, we really have been enjoying it here in my home. It's only four ingredients. It's super simple. It is a hybrid of sourdough. So I'm excited to share it with you guys if you are possibly interested in starting to bake your own bread. So that is the second portion of today's video, but I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off this decorate with me, I do my best to utilize home decor items that I already have. I rarely ever go out and buy new items for a video. I do what I can with what I have on hand, but there were three new items that I picked up, including this really fun horse print from Luxby Co., these beautiful peony stems for Michaels, and then there's another pair of stems that I picked up from a local boutique that you guys will see later on. But try to utilize what you already have in your home, mix things around, move it around, and try to use it for different purposes. Moving to the left side of my stove, I decided to do something just a little bit different with my cookbook stand. Usually I will put a cookbook in there for obvious reasons, but this time I decided to use Shea McGee's The Art of Home and just flipped it to a picture that had a beautiful kitchen in it. Then I brought this really fun planter that I purchased on Amazon a few years back and decided to use it as a utensil crock. I love it because it has this really fun hobnail texture. It's got this like lived in rustic feel and I've actually never used it as a utensil crock. So I was just deciding to get something a little bit more creative and different from what I usually do here in my kitchen. Then I'm gonna layer in two different cutting boards. Those are both from Home Goods. I just love that checkered one. It brings something different. It breaks up all of my white backsplash and just adds that little bit of pop of contrast. Moving to the right side of my stove, this is where I house all of my more functional items. Starting with this vintage riser, I'm then bringing my brass pepper mills, my olive oil decanter, and then I picked up these beautiful selenite bowls from the Great Junk Hunt here in San Diego about a year ago, and I decided to use them as a salt pinch and a way to house my toothpicks. Moving on to the last portion of my kitchen countertops, I'm bringing in two of my favorite books for the kitchen, Sunday Suppers and Gathering. I'm then placing that Amazon rustic planter right on top with some fresh apples. I spoke about this planter in my curated home decor haul. I think this is a great thing to add to your home for that rustic touch, that organic feeling. It does not have to be just a planter. You can use it for multiple different ways, which I love. Now I did pick up some fresh kitchen towels from Home Goods. This is 
something I do like to switch out periodically. All of the towels that do get thrashed, we will use them for washing our cars and for our housekeepers to clean the home. So they do get used once they are done here in the kitchen. We are then moving on to my kitchen island, bringing in this beautiful rustic vase from Restoration Hardware. And then these stems are from a local boutique here in San Diego, but they are so different for me. I would never catch myself styling with these stems, but they were so playful and just exuded that spring feeling in my opinion, bringing in that really baby pink softness that also plays off with the peonies that are in my living room space. And I just really love how these look. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of them. Moving on to the baking portion of today's video, starting with my KitchenAid mixer. Now this recipe only calls for four ingredients, flour, salt, yeast, and water. I was really intimidated by this process of making your own bread, but honestly, this recipe is so simple. It was a really great beginner for someone like myself that doesn't bake that much. So we're gonna start with our flour first, three cups added to our KitchenAid mixer and then we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna bring in our yeast. This calls for one and a half teaspoons as well. So we're gonna just add that to our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna have one and a half to two cups of water overheat. This is really important. This yeast calls for 100 to 110 degrees. So I will use a thermometer to make sure that the water is the right temperature. Otherwise, if it is too hot, it will kill the yeast. Once that is to the right temperature, go ahead and add that to your dry mixture and mix it up until you have a nice dough consistency. Once your dough is done mixing, go ahead and set it aside and place a tea towel over the top. My yeast activates fairly quickly, so I'm able to actually bake the same day. When your dough is ready, go ahead and knead a little bit of flour in there, line either a Dutch oven or a loaf pan with parchment paper, place that dough in there, and then preheat your oven to 420 to 425. Let that bake for about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven strength, and then you will have a beautiful loaf of hybrid sourdough. This is the best, most moist bread that we've ever eaten. I truly love making this on a weekly basis and I hope you guys enjoy. Sound off in the comments if you end up trying it for yourselves. And that is today's video. All right you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my spring decorate with me part two. Be sure to check out the description down below for any of the items that I can link within today's video, as well as the recipe that I shared in today's video as well. But until the next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys then. Peace.